So A.H. forcing her quote-unquote current girlfriend, Eve Marlowe, to cut up her food for her is trending worldwide. That's right. Everybody and their mama has seen it and they're commenting on it. And you know what's really crazy about this? She's not the first person that A.H. has expected this kind of thing from. Oh no, being a friend apparently means getting the groceries, finding the rental, doing everything for yeah you and i we're gonna talk about this one today fun times huh fun times indeed all right so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day by the way i hope you are doing excellently in this i mean this is crazy when you think about it you're talking about somebody that isn't supposed to be your friend they're supposed to be your girlfriend that's what came out in court documents and i mean remember we're not just talking about some random person associated with ah this is a person that was introduced to the world in April 2022, they were introduced as a journalist and also AH's current girlfriend who is sitting in the front row of a trial who decided they would target a witness of JD. You can see it mentioned right here. They target Gina Duders. Now, how do they do that? Well, they present false evidence. That's right. All of this it is showcased to the judge plus more. And in front of the entire world and one of the biggest audiences we have ever seen for a court case, she gets booted by a judge. You can see the order right here. Plaintiff's motion or the motion to get her out of the courtroom. That's granted. And riddle me this. When you look at a picture like this beyond the photo opportunity. What has that really gotten Barlow? I mean, sure, she's been mentioned in a few publications as a girlfriend, but when you look at this, you have one person here. They're just walking along carefree, right? No care in the world, just smiling, beaming brightly, hands firmly entrenched in their pockets. They're not helping out anyone at all. The other person here, they seem to be dressed up playing twinsies. And hey, you go if that's your thing. But if you look here, you'll notice this doesn't seem to be a light burden. I'm sure that's a metaphor for the entire relationship, too. Not a light burden at all. But yeah, I mean, if you look at this side, this is strained to breaking. So, she has all of this weight here versus that right there. But hey, again, you get to play twinsy, right? Now, I don't know about you and your current relationships, but when somebody says smile for the birdie and they all so say, hey, why don't you get my really heavy baggage here? By the way, will you manage the box wine too? There are a lot of pictures of that, by the way. You should look them up. But that seems bad, right? Doesn't seem like a lot of equality there, especially when you're talking about photo presentation. This, however, it seems to take things to another level. And again, this isn't the first time stuff like this has happened, which I'll show you in a minute. But this is a picture from Israel. You had A.H. and Barlow travel there. There were a lot of rumors about them, their relationship, hiding money. There were so many things that came up. One thing nobody talked about, by the way, I'll add in here, the guy, Richard Albertini, that filed the false police reports about myself, guess where he ran off to right before this picture came out? Israel. That's right. So he was there too, although I don't know if they made contact. But if you look at this picture, you have public settings. So everybody and their mama, they can see what's going on here too. A.H., she isn't paying attention to Barlow at all. She's talking to whoever this is. You'll notice, too, she is in the process of eating. She doesn't look happy at all about what she's hearing. Barlow, two-hand management, she's managing A.H.'s food for her. That's right. She's jumping up the food, it looks like. That's what people on social media were saying. Getting all of her food prepared for her. And what's crazy is that that level of entitlement. Oh, it is very much verifiable. In fact, she used it as a get-out-of-jail-free card when it came to the UK trial when she was talking about her quote-unquote friend, Samantha McMillan. Now, you see the discussion here, talking about her friend who used to be her assistant, Samantha McMillan, who she knows, you know, in the United States, she's not my assistant, 
outside of the United States. She worked as my assistant. You can see that brought up right here. Quote, she was off and on my assistant. When I worked outside of the United States, she worked as my assistant. So, she was at the time. When you are saying you are traveling to New York, she's your assistant no, she was not my assistant in the United States. She was my friend and my companion. So again, you see how she's described here, friend and companion. Now from here, this gets really really fascinating. Why? Because apparently when you're a friend or a quote-unquote companion, not sure what companion means, but hey, you know, I can draw my own inference with that. But apparently if you're one of those two designations, she expects you to still put in work. The same kind of work, by the way, that she would have expected from somebody that she would have called an assistant, getting groceries, setting up the house, cutting up food, whatever. But she expects you to pay your way. That's right. She might loan you money while you're there, money to pay your expenses, but you're going to pay your way to wait on her. I mean, listen to this. The entitlement, like I said, it seems unreal. So she's asked, first question here, she didn't work for you. Talking about Samantha McMillan with you on uh, Magic Mike. Nope. Answer, she traveled with me. Okay, so you're talking about, again, companion designation, a friend. So then she's asked, secondly, she didn't work with you as your assistant when you were filming the Adderall Diaries. And again, she gets the same response. You know, hey, nope, she traveled with me. Along with that, she puts on the word, she helped me out. Then she gives a description here. I mean, drink this in. You're working long hours. You need somebody to, well, it's helpful to have somebody help you get the groceries. Again, that sounds like somebody we just saw, right? In pictures, and there are a lot more pictures too. Like I was saying, when you do not have the time in your long hours or prepare the home or help you, say, find a rental or whatever. Again, the menial things that you would expect from somebody working with you, not somebody you would call a friend or call your companion on a travel trip. Then the judge comes back and says, was Samantha McMillan ever paid by you when you were in the United States? So that is a point bank question about pay rates. Were you giving her any money? No, no, not at all. Not when she was in the United States. I did loan her money when she was in the United States. I loaned her money with the expectation of being paid back. I gave her money for expenses for, and then it gets cut off from a break for there. But you notice the framework of this. It sounds just like Barlow. Again, go out, do the menial work, chop up my food, and oh God, I hope at least she's paying your way. I mean, at least that for all the stuff you put in. But anyway, let me know what you think about this stuff. And as always, I appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say that enough. Thank you. You want to help the channel out, by the way. Links are in the description. We could always use your help too. But you know what? You being here is the biggest help of all. 